What's up, everybody? Paul Richards here, the author of Esports in Education. And I've been working with so many great teachers, students, and esports professionals who have been working on building esports tournament areas, whether they're live streaming their esports tournaments or setting up spaces that are great for esports. And uh, as I was doing that, I was working with a couple different schools uh, in the college level who are setting up esports, almost mini stadiums and areas where they can live stream their esports, but also have a space where spectators can come in and watch esports professionally. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about the esports spectator display role and why it's so important to have large screen televisions for folks who want to watch what's going on in esports. Let's check it out. So it, this chapter is now in esports and education. It's now chapter 18. I added this as a new chapter, but I'm going to show you briefly in this video, and then you can download the entire case study and white paper on our website right here. So let's take a look. So the esports spectator display rule, which by the way, you can check out at esports spectator, or sorry, ptzoptics.com slash esports dash rule um, is a rule that helps you very quickly and easily determine how big does that television need to be uh, in order for folks in the crowd to be able to see what's going on. And obviously with esports, we're talking about lots of computers, lots of displays, um, but people can't really see over the shoulder of the esports player what's going on, especially if there's hundreds and hundreds of people who want to watch. Unlike football and baseball and traditional sports, where you can simply just look what, what's going on in the field. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this display rule and figure out how big these displays really need to be using some mathematics. It's going to be fun, guys. Don't worry. So you can go to this page at any time and you can actually figure out how big the display needs to be based on the furthest distance of the person. So if you are one foot away from the screen, sure, you know, a 24 inch monitor is fine. Uh, if you're five feet away, you know, you're starting to get into the 38, 42 range, right? You're sitting on your couch at six, seven, eight, nine feet away. You're looking at a 42, you know, 55 inch TV. But as you see, as you get further and further away, as you're 11 feet, 12 feet away, you're looking at a 70 inch LCD. 13 feet, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 feet, 20 feet. Now we're talking about the size of a classroom. Now we're talking about a 90 inch television. Now, if we're in a stadium or an auditorium and we're 50 feet away, now we're talking about a 400 inch television. Now, how does all of this work? Now, I know some of you probably don't care about the math. So I'm going to go over it briefly. There's an entire white paper that you can download. This is written by the PTZ Optics Chief Operating Officer, Joseph Mulcahy, who has spent over 20 years in audiovisual. And uh, looks like it's taking a moment to load. So I'll just let you know it's there if you guys want to get into the this, this techie tech. But let me show you guys kind of what we're talking about here. So what happens is when you are looking at a television, and I want to make this just a little bit bigger. I think I can do that over here. When you're looking at a TV, uh, there is something called an arc minute. And what it is, is it's essentially how much you're viewing the text. And the text on the screen is something that's really important for eSports, right? You want the viewers of eSports to be able to see some of the critical details, like a countdown clock, some of the items in the inventory. And what we did is we went out and we actually measured the size of the text. And you can, and we did an average. So we looked at League of Legends and we looked at 720p displays, 1080p displays, different scaling options. And we came up with an average rule. And this actually comes from, you know, work that has been done in many, many years with the University of Arizona in the 1980s and 3M developers who at the time had a 24-point font rule that applied to PowerPoint slides. And we decided, let's take that same thinking, the same type of uh, design, and let's apply it to eSports. And that's what we've done. So all of it is here so that you could actually apply this to, uh, mathematic formulas to any video game. So whether Fortnite is different than League of Legends is different than Smite and Hearthstone, 
and all the different games that are out there. If you really want to drill down to this, you measure the size of the text on the screen. And then we talk about making it on a larger screen and figuring out what it will look like for somebody that's farther away. So that's really the way it works. And we have all of these tools for you to calculate it. So if you know, for example, let's say you have a theater and the theater seats 150 people and you want to have an esports tournament with all the esports players up front and you want to have a big projector come down that will show uh, what's going on so that people can watch and be entertained. Well, first of all, you're probably going to want to set up a video production system so that you can have access to all of those different computer screens or you can have an observer PC, which is all explained in this white paper um, and this document here, and also in the eSports and Education book, which I highly recommend you pick up. But let's say the furthest person from the stage is gonna be 75 feet away. So this is in feet. You'll have to do a, a conversion for metric if you're in metric. And it's saying here that if you're 41, uh, that it would be 41 foot would be the diagonal. That is a massive display. So 500 inch diagonal screen is really, really big. Um, and, and so what we can do is we can take our distance and we can say, all right, well, it's 75 feet away. Um, let's take a look. Let's say our text height is one inch tall. Well, it gives us a rating of bad. It says if you're 75 feet away and the text is only two inches tall, that's going to be really hard to see. But if we put it on a really big display where the text height is, let's say, 12, now we're getting a decent rating. And this is really high-end math where we're, we're, we're measuring arcs of our vision to a point of text and trying to make sure that everyone can see this. So as you can see, it's a very complicated tool, but it's all explained here for you math geeks and you know, kind of tech nerds who want to check it out. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It's also now fully explained as the final chapter or one of the last chapters in esports and education. You can get this book for free at ptzoptics.com slash book. So check the book out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're building an esports tournament area or you're even just hosting an esports tournament at home, it might be nice to know, you know, how big of a display should I be setting up for my friends to be able to see? Maybe you're setting up in a classroom, 20 people in the classroom. The person that's 16, 17 feet away, are they going to be able to see the esports tournament properly? That's why we've done all this work to come up with this design. I hope you guys like it. Check it out on our website, ptzoptics.com slash esports rule. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got lots of great new stuff coming out soon.